Hi guys, an update on the old generator. The more I dug into the motor, the more I found wrong with it. The oil pump in it has broken gears. The governor gear is also missing five or six teeth. Um, so I've opted for the big transformation onto a modern day motor. The engine is a six and a half horsepower, so it's uh, nearly three times the size. The old motor was a two horsepower, apparently. The good thing about this is it only has to run on 1500 revs. Um, I cut the crankshaft off the old motor and uh, stripped this motor down, put the crank in the lathe, um, machined a spigot on one end and bored a hole in the other, pushed it together and welded it all up and um, then trued it up and it's come up very nice. So it is an old, this is actually 1944, got the numbers off of the plate, that was the date of manufacture for that generator and um, it's all back together. Have to do a little bit of repair work here and there and of course inside the box as well. Um, I have it hooked up to a large battery. This is one of the batteries I was trying to revive and it is coming along quite nicely as you can see. The wires going to it on these big alligator clips is only pretty light and this being a bigger motor sometimes it takes a little bit to get it to turn over. Um, So we have our battery, our amp meter, and of course our inverter, which drives our incandescent 60 watt bulb. As you can see it pulls the battery down fairly quick. did have a bit of surface charge on it because I've already given it a little run. So, um, But this is really neat. This is a very neat machine. I think we've gone backwards since the days of old. And um, I'll show you why because simply by adjusting this pot I can take it from about 5 amp output up to about 40 amps at 12 volts. Well it's actually more, we'll have a look at the battery climbing. Didn't have a fuel tank for the motor so I found a rusty old one out in the paddock. The indicator glass had fell inside and it was no good, it was full of water. We've cleaned it out, it seems to work alright. So what we're going to do now is give her a little run. It is a bit noisy, so um, probably won't hear me after this, but some of you may not want to. So we'll push the button and see if we can get her to go. She just needs to get over that compression sometimes.
have this pot slightly up and we can keep up with that 60 watt bolt no problem at all motor's hardly working So that's it guys, how many generators of today do you know can do that? Turn the current up and down as we require it to whatever we want. So there you have it, the old girl's up and running, it's now going to be mounted on that trolley that I built that wind generator on which was an absolute waste of time. Um, I mount that on a trolley couple of these big blue batteries 1500 watt inverter and we'll have a little mobile unit when the power goes out this would also be pretty good for camping you flatten your car battery plug this on for five minutes and you're away okay well that's it that's the update on the machine it's running quite nice everything is working as it should and this is just a treat being able to turn the current up and down like that. Absolute magic. Cheers from the Tin Man.